Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I want to show you guys what I put together um, as some extra trunk space. Uh, recently, I purchased a 2021 GMC Canyon. Uh, this is the V6 version. It's just the elevation standard. That's all I could get. I couldn't find anything with more options. I wanted a few more things. This has everything I need and I can aftermarket upgrade everything that I don't have. So I'm working on that. Anyway, uh, it's still got everything. Power windows, power door, door locks, AC, uh, rear backup camera. It came with the nice 18 inch wheels. It's got projector headlights, which I'm gonna upgrade to LEDs. I'll take you along for all of that, but that's not important. What's important is what you see behind me. So, um, got the factory trailer hitch so i got the tow package this thing can tow up to 7,000 pounds it's pretty awesome um, i also have a 1,572 pound payload uh, which is good because i'm doing a couple things i'm actually building a slide in camper for this even though the manual says don't do it the thing will only be inside of 350 pounds plus a little bit of gear i'll be within the weight range for sure not worried about that but with all this work that I do, I needed a place where I could put some cool stuff, some good stuff, some detailing stuff that I keep over here on this, these shelves there and over here. Um, anyway, I needed a little bit more room and I needed the ability to remove it whenever I want. So what I did was I went with the Saurus, uh, I think it's called the Swing Away. Uh, this thing's 350 bucks on Amazon. Pretty nice. It comes with the uh, load locker, I call it, uh, where you can make sure it doesn't jiggle and shake. Um, this is the, what do they call it? Uh, haul away, haul, haul master, maybe. Uh, Harbor Freight basic aluminum hitch cargo rack. I actually have the better one. Oh, look at that. I was wondering where my truly went the other day and it's at the, uh, it's sitting there. <laughs> anyway, couldn't find that shit for nothing. And there it is. Anyway, so that's the one with the ramp. I use that for if I have to haul a pressure washer to do a friend's driveway or some something like that. Or if I've got to throw on some random equipment, I'll use that one. That's the bigger version uh, with the ramp. Uh, but this is the basic one. And this is the DZ, D-E-E-Z-E-E -E 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 is the company that makes this for Tractor Supply. Um, I've got some stuff in it there now, but it's lockable, uh, which is awesome. Um, I did bolt it down to the hitch. So all I need to do to remove this, because that thing's aluminum and doesn't weigh very much, neither does the rack. Uh, the bottom base there is steel. Uh, that connects to the swing away but we're looking at maybe 50 60 se maybe 70 pounds pulling that off not a huge deal for a guy maybe a woman w might have a little issue with that um, this is for bike racks however it does have a 250 pound uh, rating so basically after I've added everything after that if this is 70, we've got 180 pounds worth of stuff we can put in there safely. Um, I shouldn't ever do that, but it's just for random things that won't fit in the bed when I've got bigger equipment in there. Um, I am getting into some other things. I'm about to expand my business vastly, actually. I'm starting a, a whole nother division, if you will, but uh, that's for a later video. Anyway, so I needed this for extra storage and I wanted to get rid of it whenever I'm pulling the boat or pulling the RV or pulling the trailer or whatever. So the cool part is, look how far away this thing swings out. Look at this. Check this out. Boom. Tailgate fully open. Nothing's in my way. No problems at all. So the cool part about this is, yes, I have a two inch trailer hitch, uh, class three, I believe. You could get a class one and have an adapter that will make this work for a two inch. 
and then you could use all of these same pieces if you're driving a smart car. Literally, you can bolt on a trailer hitch, put all of these accessories on, and you've got eight cubic feet of extra storage space. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, I've got lots of different things to show you. Um, I'm expanding, so I actually did a bunch of research. I ordered a bunch of stuff. I've got some cool stuff I want to show you guys. But this right here might be the ticket that you need to expand your detailing operation. Um, this will allow you lockable storage when you don't have any lockable storage in the car. So there you go. All right, so tractor supply. This box was 350 bucks. This um, cargo hitch uh, receiver carrier thing was $100 at Harbor Freight. And then the Saris swing away uh, was on Amazon is where I ordered it. It was 350 bucks. So 350, 350, that's seven plus one is eight plus tax. So 800 plus I think I paid eight and a half percent tax. So you're so eight hundred and fifty dollars ish will get you eight cubic feet of extra storage space. So I would say that's pretty significant. The other cool thing is it's lockable. You want to be able to lock your stuff up and not worry about it. So you can do that. And um, the other cool thing is I was worried that my backup camera wasn't going to be able to see beyond the box and because this thing extends it away just enough i can see everything be i obviously can't see behind the box but i can see around it enough to know whether or not i'm going to hit something so um uh, hopefully i don't hit anything but if i do i do anyway thanks for watching check out gary dean's detail juice nation i'm going to post some pictures of this in the group we're going to talk about it in there if you want to talk about it in there come on in uh, send us a request. We'll get you in and you can see look at this look It is a hot Florida September evening so Got some things going on guys big 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 things um, If you have questions for me check out the group 813-846-4406 is my cell and uh, This is pretty cool. I think I mean it's not rocket science how to put this together, but this is all the components that you need to have extra trunk space if you don't have enough to operate in your itty bitty little car and do some detailing, some serious detailing with all this extra space. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Leave a comment below. Um, give us a like if you like it or don't if you don't. See you guys later.